Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with a, another Legends of Runeterra video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the best cards revealed in the upcoming expansion, uh, Cosmic Inspirations in Legends of Runeterra. These are going to be some cards I would assume are going to see significant play and continuous play throughout metas as they are quite powerful cards in my personal opinion. And it's going to be fun to see uh, going into the future just how wrong or maybe, maybe right I was about this select few cards. Today I'm going to share with you guys has five cards as well as giving an honorable mention so my honorable mention today is going to go to nai and droid a three mana one three with the new augment ability as well as the elusive key tag in pnz this seems like quite a new powerful option uh just the fact that it has elusive and augment alone playing one generated card alongside this will just start to net you some significant value and if not dealt with it can become quite a powerful and sometimes a win condition in itself the infinite scaling on this card is quite ridiculous and adding elusive onto a card like this specifically just seems really crazy only a rare seems like a very powerful card and alongside some of the other tools uh can be quite strong now i don't think you can just like throw it into any deck hence why i'm only going to give it an honorable mention but it does seem like a very powerful card in terms of the augment ability as well as elusive they have like endless opportunities to really go nuts with this card number five on the list today is going to be Erit Eritive Improvement, a two mana burst speed spell for Piltover and Zorn with pick a follower and create a copy of it in hand and give it with a and grant it plus one uh, plus one. Now this card just seems like it has the potential to do a lot. Uh, I don't think there's anything specific I could think of at the back of my head that really helps this card really hit and net extreme value but for how reasonably cheap it is and how flexible it is in terms of its burst speed and being able to pick any follower on the field i think this card is going to see some significant play and could be quite a new powerful tool for control decks and i can maybe even see it slotting uh, into some of the new augment uh, decks or even besides that just another insane value generator for greedy decks that can go to town with it now it is limited to piltover and so on but it might open up new opportunities for pnz decks to be focused more on control and within their own region i think this is one of the more fantastic spells revealed and probably going to be only one of the re uh, spells i revealed today as we got a lot of strong followers but not many spells so iterative improvement number five on the list probably one of the best spells out of the set So number four on the list today is going to go to Starry Scamp, a 2 mana 2-2 two -two for Targon. I cost two less if you behold a Celestial. Alongside some of the other cards we've seen so far, Starry Scamp seems like one of the most exciting cards for Targon coming out. Uh, pretty much Targon throughout the past metas has struggled to really find a deck that can deal with wide boards and invoking is a really strong mechanic but where the deck struggled was the ability to provide chump blockers against annoying units and just developing tempo uh, to traditionally playing invoke cards didn't allow you to build tempo boards but now starry scamp opened up new opportunities for targon to consider some more niche deck builds and i think it's a fantastic new tool for the celestial mechanic and providing a more faster strategy even uh, typically targon had to splash into demacia to muck around with single combat and judgment to be able to deal with wide boards but now there's an opportunity for us to develop chump blockers and starry scamp or even tempo and aggression with it too uh, seems like a fantastic new tool probably one of the better cards we've seen for targon revealed so i'm really excited the most excited for this card but still going to be number four on the list uh, because there's going to be some maybe a little bit more powerful cards number three on the list today is going to go to ballistic bot one of the new pnz followers a two mana one three augment with the round star create an ignition in hand ignition is a one mana slow speed fleeting spell that will deal one to the enemy nexus now this card uh seems very strong just a standalone card even though it has the augment ability it's 
It's so powerful that it can flex into many different decks. Obviously, we can consider things like uh, Gangplank and aggro versions of Bilgewater PNZ with Ballistic Bot getting some pretty tremendous value with those ignitions over and over again, and its ability to carry its own keyword. This card just seems really fantastic and super flexible, and I can see it slotting into many different decks. Perhaps super greedy control decks uh, in PNZ with Victor might not consider this, but if you're playing Victor, you're more than likely also playing this. Ballistic Bot just seems like a fantastic all-round card I can see fitting into many many different decks. Number two on the list is going to go to Solari Sunforger. Now I forgot about this card and it actually isn't Targon so we talked about Starry Scamp but I guess we have to talk about this new Targon card as well. 4 mana 5-4 Solari Sunforger Daybreak give me life still this round. Now I've got a fair bit to say about this card but I will keep it brief. But I do believe this is going to be one of the more powerful followers we're going to see uh, coming out in the Cosmic Inspiration strictly because of its lifesteal effect. And the stat line on this, it just seems like a very ridiculous card. Uh, I wouldn't really compare it too much to Radiant Guardian because Radiant Guardian probably strictly is a better card overall. But this card is flexible enough that it can fit into many different decks. And what's really important about this card is that it exists strictly in Targon, allowing Targon new areas of healing where it previously did not have. I think this card's going to be fantastic. Also with Daybreak has some more Leona synergy, giving you some alternative plays on turn four. Uh, definitely gives a huge boost to Daybreak, but mostly gives a huge boost to Targon. Um, this, and you might wonder like, if you play this on a defensive turn, obviously it's not going to be as good, right? Because you want to be attacking with it so you can get the life steal. However, if you play this against an aggro deck on your defensive turn, um, it's pretty much going to be shutting down their attack. So you deny uh, damage essentially. You might not be getting the high, uh, life steal to your Nexus, but you will be denying the damage, essentially healing you in the process. This card seems very powerful and it's going to shut down aggro, but it's going to be very meta dependent, so I can't give it number one on the list. And number one on the list today is going to go to the new Demarcy and Landmark, the Grand Plaza. Now, I will be honest, at first, I definitely overlooked this card. I didn't think much of it because it's a Landmark and it uh, sacrifices tempo. However, on second thoughts and after seeing some of the feedback from a lot of uh, Rune Terror players and just hype around this card, maybe it's going to be really good. Uh, I'm still yet to see just how it's going to look like in play. But look, a three mana uh, landmark is really cheap and its effect is quite nuts. When an ally is summoned, give it plus one, plus one and challenge it this round. You can do some pretty nuts stuff with Undying. You can just do some nuts stuff with a lot of units in Demacia. And applying Quick Attack to those units too, you can start to get some insane value. So you don't sacrifice too much tempo to play this, but after you've played it, and unless your opponent deals with it, I can definitely see it giving them a hard time. Even it's like putting this onto a Grizzled Ranger can be really insane after the Grizzled Ranger attacks as a... As a 4-2, it will become a 4-5 afterwards. So a really strong on curve play there, as you can see. So yeah, it, it does seem like quite a powerful card. And it might open up opportunities for Demacia decks to make a bit more late game viable because you just have so much value from this one card. So that's my best cards, I believe, for today. And if you have any different opinions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and we can talk all about it. But yeah, the next video coming out very shortly is going to be the top five worst cards. So I hope you can stick around for that. Don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys soon.